Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to buy the Upcake token using Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. I'm going to be showing you guys step by step everything you have to do in order to buy this token. But before we get started here, I'd really recommend subscribing to this channel as I'll have daily cryptocurrency videos showing you things like how to buy, how to sell, and lots more to do with the crypto space. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, I really do recommend subscribing so you can stay on top of everything going on in the markets. Uh, anyhow, first things first here, we're just going to open up our Trust Wallet. And I'm just going to let you guys know, I'm not going to show you how to create your trust wallet or how to buy or transfer BNB in this video. I'm assuming a lot of people already know how to do that. But if you guys do not know how to do that and you're new to this market, I will have separate tutorials linked for you guys to learn about this in the description and in the comment section down below if that is needed. Once you have that done, you can come back to this video and learn how to purchase the token. Uh, anyhow, if you guys have the BNB inside of your BNB wallet as well, you're going to have to transfer the amount over to your smart chain wallet that you want to spend on PancakeSwap. And to do that, you just want to click on your BNB wallet click on swap and then you'll see an option here uh, that says swap to smart chain. Just make sure you have the currency in the smart chain wallet that you wanna spend on this token. Very, very important. Anyhow, once you have that done here, all we have to do is get the contract address for this token. So I'll have a link over to CoinMarketCap in the description and comment section. So you guys can just go ahead over there to get the contract address. So once you're over there, I'll show you guys what to do. And once you guys are on here, you just have to go down to where it says contracts, right beside the little MetaMask logo where you see two squares. Just go ahead and click on those little two squares. Once it's copied, you guys can just go back over to your Trust Wallets. And once you're back in Trust Wallet here, you just want to go to the top right corner of your screen where you see the two lines and two circles and click on that. And then you'll see the search bar at the top here. So you're just going to want to paste that contract address up in this top search bar here. You will then see Add Custom Token as an option. So you want to click on Add Custom Token. And then here you'll see Network. So you want to change the network from Ethereum over to Smart Chain. And then you can paste the contract address in this little section here. Once you do that, everything else will load in automatically for you. So you can just go to the top right corner and click on save. Now, once you have the token location inside of Trust Wallet, so now you can transfer the tokens from PancakeSwap into your Trust Wallet, you guys can move on to the next step, which is going over to PancakeSwap and actually swapping the tokens. Now, if you guys need a link over to PancakeSwap, I'll have that in the description and comment section as well. Or, of course, you can go ahead on Google and search for PancakeSwap and go ahead there. Once you're there, I'll show you guys what to do next. Now, once you're on PancakeSwap here, first thing we have to do is connect our wallet. So if we just go to the top right corner of our screen where we see the connect wallet button, you can click on that. And then you'll see a couple options here, wallet connect, MetaMask, and Trust Wallet. I'm going to be showing you guys using wallet connect. So we're going to click on wallet connect. And then here it's going to ask us to choose our preferred wallet. So you guys can go ahead and use any one of these options if you would like to. If you're using MetaMask, Rainbow Wallet, it doesn't really matter. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys with Trust Wallet. So we're going to go ahead and click on Trust Wallet here. Now here, once you're on this screen, we can just click on connect so we can connect our Trust Wallet to PancakeSwap. Once we do that, we can go back over to PancakeSwap and we'll know our wallet's connected when we see our wallet icon in the top right corner here, as well as our balance of BNB right above BNB right here. And like I said, if you guys do not see your balance of BNB here, it's simply because you have your currency in the BNB wallet and not the Smart Chain wallet. So just make sure you have it in the Smart Chain wallet. Very important. Uh, now all we have to do is click select a currency and then we can paste that same address that we got from CoinMarketCap in this section as well. Once we do that, we'll see an import option right here. So we click on import, I understand, and then import. Now, once you have the two tokens in here, you now have to change your slippage tolerance depending on the liquidity of the token. So if we just go to this little Stangs gear beside exchange, we can click on that. And then right where it says swaps and liquidity here, we can change our slippage tolerance. Now, the slippage tolerance is going to change depending on how much liquidity is in the project at current time. So it's going to change whenever you guys watch this video. I'd probably start off about 8 to 10% just to start off with this token. But like I said, you guys can play around with it and try different slippage tolerances so you can get the best price that you can. Uh, but like I said, we're going to start with 8 to 10% because that's usually where these tokens run from. Uh, so once you have that there, you guys can exit out of here. And then you just have to decide how much BNB that you want to transfer into this token. So let's just say I want to do one BNB. I could put that in here and then it will show me how much I'll get in exchange for that one BNB. Now, once you guys have that and you're happy with your exchange, you can just click on where it says insufficient BNB balance for me. Once you guys click on that, uh, where it's going to say swap for you. Uh, but once you guys click on that swap, it's going to show you a broken down version of your transaction, showing you your fees and things like that. Now, if you're happy and comfortable with that, you click on swap one more time and you should get a successful transaction notice. For whatever reason, if you do not get a successful transaction notice, you guys can try changing the slippage tolerance up or down uh, to see uh, what the correct slippage tolerance is for you. But like I said, it does change, so just be aware of that. Uh, anyhow, once you guys get that successful notice, though, you could exit out of here, go back into your trust wallets, and the Upcake token will arrive here usually within a couple minutes. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out, showing you guys how to buy the Upcake token using Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. If this video did help you out, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.